At Trader Joe's, let's see what we can find. I think I got a little bit too much. I haven't been here in like two years and I don't know if it's gonna fit in my freezer. So let's go home. I'll show you everything that I got and we'll see if we can make it fit. Hi, baby. TSA pre-check. Here is my produce haul. I'll walk you through what I'm planning on doing with everything. The fruits are pretty much just for snacking. We eat a lot of fruit. I try to eat pretty much a fruit with every meal. So I got quite a few fruits and then romaine for salads. And I'm thinking about making some gyro bowls this week. So I'll use that to top it as well. And I have some tomatoes, oops, not those, tomatoes over here. I'll chop those up for it as well as these cucumbers. Carrots are for snacking and just mixing into rice, pasta, things like that. Green onions to top some of my dishes this week and then we'll use these for sides. I love peppers so I just use them in whatever dishes I need them for and add them in as a yummy snack when I want something on the side that's a vegetable. Sweet potato, I'm not sure what I'll do with this. I'm thinking maybe sweet potato mac and cheese this week. We'll see what I decide to do with that. And I got some shredded cabbage. I am thinking about making some egg roll bowls this week. So I'll use that in those for some added crunch. And then I did get three shallots. I'm thinking about making some French onion soup this week. Onions kind of hurt my stomach. So I'm, I'm leaning into them slowly and I'm thinking the shallots might be a little bit easier on my stomach. So that's what we're gonna do with those dairy haul. Needed some eggs. We've been going through a lot of eggs lately and then I needed some cheese as well. This is just snacking cheese for my husband's lunches. I'd usually pack him some cheese or yogurt in his lunches. Some half and half for his coffee. Some kefir for my smoothies. I love having this in my smoothies. I have never tried the mango so we'll see how that is. Then I got some lactose free milk. I usually get Fairlife but they don't sell that at Trader Joe's so this is their brand. Their alternative to Fairlife. My cats are just running around in the background here. <laughs> and then I got some chocolate milk. My husband's been wanting some, so I got some of that. That is not lactose free, that's just normal. Odie, what are you doing? Oh my goodness gracious. And some cream cheese for bagels, as well as some sour cream for whatever we end up needing it for, probably in some mac and cheese or something like that. Some butter, I use a lot of butter. I like salted butter, that's what I prefer. It tends to have less ingredients if you get salted butter, which is why I get salted. A lot of Greek yogurt. I eat it for yogurt bowls and I put it in my smoothies as well. It's great for extra protein. Some of American singles for breakfast sandwiches for my husband. And then some tzatziki. I think I'm gonna make some gyro bowls this week. Next up is freezer foods. These are side dishes and snacks and meals for the freezer. I will show you my produce, my frozen produce next. So mozzarella sticks, we love these. I'm so sorry, my cats are chasing each other. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and then chicken fried rice. My husband loves this stuff with the mandarin orange chicken. So I got him both of those. And then he loves these breaded chicken tenderloins as well. I got some of these um, Kung Pao tempura cauliflower to try. I really like cauliflower, especially if it's like fried or tempura. So I'm gonna try those out. And then we got some seasoned waffle fries as well. I like to have fries on hand just in case we grill or something like that. Also got some chicken wings for my husband and some garlicky pasta. I've been wanting to try this, so we'll see how that is. Let me know if you've tried it before. And then back here, we're gonna try these steamed vegetable soup dumplings. We've been having a lot of soup recently, so I thought that would be a good addition. And I got some brown rice. Last time I went to Aldi, I got some bagged brown rice and it had bugs in it so i'm kind of like put off to bagged brown rice right now so i just got their frozen brown rice at trader joe's hopefully we'll be okay these ice cream sandwiches are absolutely delicious they are like 370 calories i think they're not huge but they are very very good so if you have the calories left in your deficit highly recommend they're a great treat Got some potato latkes. I love latkes, so we'll test those out. I've never had the Trader Joe's ones. And I got two pizzas as well. So I got a three cheese pizza. Then I got the barbecue chicken pizza. My husband loves that one. And that one's my favorite. And now my frozen produce haul. I'm hoping this fits in the freezer because my freezer is pretty full already. 
So a lot of this fruit is for my smoothies. I tend to just use frozen fruit for smoothies. So strawberries, blueberries, dark cherries, and then I got a berry medley. Extra berries in that one, blackberries and raspberries as well. And then I got the very cherry blend. I love cherry blends. <laughs> and then I got the mango and the pineapple for a bit of a tropical vitamin C punch. And then I also got some chopped spinach. This I pretty much only will use for my smoothies. I don't really like frozen chopped spinach in anything else. I like it raw, but not frozen in anything else. So that's what I'll use that for. I do still have some frozen artichokes and frozen Brussels sprouts in my freezer. To add to that, I have some corn here, which is always a great side for dinners. And then same with green beans. I love green beans. I don't mind them frozen whatsoever. Same with broccoli. These are probably two of my favorite vegetables here. And then I got this Asian style vegetable stir fry. Vegetables with sauce. I usually end up making fried rice once we are low on other protein. I'll just throw an egg in there and the frozen veggies and some rice and call it a day. That's all my freezer stuff. We will see if it closes. I don't think it's gonna close. All right, we're gonna have to reorganize. For refrigerated goodies, I only got these two. We'll try the spinach tortellini. Have not tried that before. And then I also got this salsa. It's a mild salsa. I'll make rice bowls with it at some point. I only got two bread products. I got these pita bread pockets, which are whole wheat. And then I also got the cracked wheat sourdough bread. I usually make all of our bread goodies, but I'm taking the week off this week. So I'll just keep these in the fridge and grab them as we need them. I did not get too many pantry goodies this week. We aren't too low on things, but I did grab a few things. I was out of rice vinegar as well as sesame oil, so needed to replace those. We're really low on ketchup, so I got this ketchup. Same with olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Got sunflower seed spread for my husband who is allergic to nuts. And then also got some pumpkin. It's very hard to find pumpkin. It has not been at Aldi yet, and I usually shop at Aldi. So I figured I'd pick up a few cans. It'll probably become pumpkin bread or pumpkin pancakes, something like that over the next few weeks. Then needed some taco shells. I always keep some in the cupboard just in case I have some extra ground beef. It usually just becomes tacos in this house. And then I also got some pasta. I think I'm probably going to make sweet potato mac and cheese with that this week, but we'll see. Not too much for drinks. I typically don't have a lot of drinks, pre-made drinks in the house. I do have the chocolate milk that I showed you earlier, and then I also got these. So this is the green tea and lemonade. I thought my husband would like that. And then the red tart cherry juice. I wanted to try that. I've heard it's good if you drink it in the evening. It helps to make you sleepy. I don't know. I'll report back. We'll see if it does anything. And then I also got the sparkling waters. I love sparkling water for making mocktails. So some different flavors. I got lemon, raspberry lime, and the mandarin orange. And last but certainly not least, I am most excited to try these, these peanut butter crispy rice bites. They sound so good. My family makes something very similar to this. We call it scotcheroos and they are one of my favorite desserts. So I'm hoping they taste just like that. And then I saw these no sugar added dark chocolate chips. So I thought that would be perfect for my muffins and lower sugar banana bread. I love to put chocolate chips in my yogurt. So I thought those would be great for that. And then for dessert, we also have the ice cream sandwiches that I showed you earlier, which are amazing. And I might as well treat myself to one, right? Cheers. Of course the bags get recycled as a kitty play area, right Emmy Bemmy? That is my full haul. And let me tell you, my fridge and freezer were basically empty before because we had been trying to use up everything that we had for about three weeks now. I haven't gotten groceries in three weeks because I knew I was going to Trader Joe's and I wanted to get as much as possible. So let me walk you through everything. I typically do only get groceries every two to three weeks. And one of the main reasons I can do that is because we use butcher box for meat. So we always have frozen meat in the freezer. And then I try to buy fruits and veggies that are long lasting, like apples, pears, mandarins, things like that like that and then I also get a ton of frozen fruits and vegetables that makes a huge difference when we run out of our fresh produce we can just start using up the frozen goodies and we are still getting all the nutrients that we need and that our bodies are looking for I also use these produce saver containers and they make such a big difference I wash and prep all of our snacking fruits and veggies before or things that go bad quickly and I put them in these containers and let me tell you it really makes a huge difference I've had strawberries last close to two weeks before which 
is just not gonna happen if you keep them in those little plastic containers that they come in. So I love these. That is one of my biggest hacks is just prepping them and then they're ready to go and clean and ready to eat when we want to just grab them as a snack. Highly recommend. I'll tag these in my description if you are interested in these as well. Overall, the total for this haul came to just over $277, which is not bad considering we needed a lot and I hadn't gotten groceries in three weeks. Trader Joe's has definitely gotten more expensive since the last time I went, but honestly, overall, I'm impressed. Thank you so much for joining me. This was so much fun. We definitely needed a restock. Let me know if you've tried any of this or if we missed something that you would highly recommend. Let me know about that as well. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe as well. Have an absolutely amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.